have a problem. See you again. How have you been? Keep him busy. Good, good. And you, Cynthia? Oh, I'm great. I'm sorry about these surroundings, but we weren't expecting more company. Is there anything I can do to make you more comfortable? How about a car to the airport? The transportation will be taken care of later. You use a looker device to put the girls in a trance. And then you kill them. The surgical approach was a mistake. It always was clumsy. You see, the three dead girls and Cynthia here were walking examples of our computer research. They were the measurements, the database. And it's corporate policy to shred all old documents to keep it out of the hands of competition. You don't need people anymore. You use computers to create perfect commercial images. You killed three people. We're not just selling soap here, Doctor. The stakes are much higher than that. Now think of all the trouble we're in today and what's behind it. Governments, politicians, not business. Multinationals want peace and stability throughout the world if the governments are recklessly out of control. Now somebody has to see that our future is secure. I have a look again. We'll get it back. I gave it to the police. You mean Lieutenant Masters? Yes, he's downstairs right now. He's a very ambitious young man, isn't he? Yes, the police are doing their job. They're putting the pieces together. You did surgery on three dead girls. And incriminating evidence links you to two of them. After the death of the fourth, I doubt very much whether your own suicide will cause much surprise to you. Makes perfect sense when you think about it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to the next president of the United States. I hope you enjoy that wine. Goodbye. Are you athletic? I guess this could be a little hairy. It's a pleasure to be here at the home of my good friend, John Reston, president and chairman of Reston Industries Worldwide. John Reston is also managing the commercials for my presidential campaign. He seems to think he can make me more compelling than I am in real life. <laughs> <laughs> And I welcome any and all improvements. Because my real interests, I think all of you share. source of order in the post-industrial world. Television can dictate opinions more effectively than armies or secret police. Television can rule in these rapidly changing and unexpected times of stress for all of us.
but it has become a land of stifling bureaucratic regulation. Our country was colonized by the seeking relief from government oppression. Our nation was forged in revolution with its unfair taxation and restriction. Our founding fathers were clear. The Bill of Rights begins, Congress shall make no law. We were a people who wanted no laws. We wanted freedom. Yet, 200 years later, American government regulates every aspect of life. What you eat and drink, what clothes you wear, how you build your house, how you work you hire or fire, how fast you drive, what medicines you take, what your children are taught. We are no longer a free people. We are bound by thousands of rules and regulations, all supposedly for our benefit. But our food is full of hormones and additives. Our water and air is polluted. We can never be sure of what we will see. 